Hi guys, today we are going to tear down a very popular and entry-level model, Samsung Galaxy A12. A12 adopts 6.5-inch high-definition plus IPS screen with classic Infinity V notch design. 6.5-inch display is big enough for smartphone, and the color is very vivid. Both frame and back cover are made of plastic. Back cover is designed with pattern and frosted fingerprint proof treatment. Meanwhile, Galaxy A12 is equipped with more powerful four cameras and more convenient fingerprint unlock power button. Now let's tear down the Galaxy A12 and try to find the secret why it's so hot setting. First, power off and take out a 3-in-1 SIM tray. Plastic SIM tray can hold a dual nano SIM card and one micro SD card. Then take off the back cover with a plastic crowbar. Insert between back cover and the frame. Slide around the frame and separate them. Because the fingerprint flex was designed together with the power button, please be careful when separating the back cover to prevent the damage. We can see fingerprint flex connect the back cover and the main board together. Disconnect it from main board, take off the back cover. In Galaxy A12, fingerprint function was integrated with the power button. Four cameras are protected well with shockproof foam, and there are many buckles inside the edge of the back cover. Now let's take out all boards inside. Galaxy A12 adopts classic main board, battery, subboard design, and both boards are covered with shield plates. And both six Phillips screws take off main board shield plates. It's a plastic plate and there is a copper head dispatch piece beneath it. Disconnect the battery flex, display flex and the antenna flex. And both the Phillips screws which fix the main board. Take out the main board, four cameras almost occupy a quarter of main board size and the LED diffuser was planted in the board directly. And all FPC connectors are surrounded with protect foam. Reverse the main board, we found the MediaTek Helio P35 8-core CPU and the heat dispatch film. Then it's SIM card reader and the front camera nearby. Remove all the camera lens from main board. There are a total of five camera lens. Compared with the earlier Galaxy A10, A11, camera module of Galaxy A12 is definitely much stronger than them. Please check the pictures of specification breakdown of all five camera lenses. The wide angle lens output pictures reach 12 million pixels with HDR effect. It can satisfy daily basic photograph demands. Ultra wide angle lens can shoot wider areas but picture resolution is not so good compared with wide angulars. Here is an interesting picture we made with 2 million pixels of macro lens. The depth lens work with wide angulars. It can take pictures that are very similar with DSLR. Galaxy A12 front lens supports general and wide angle mode, also support beautify function. Next, we will take out the cyberboard. The shield plate was fixed with six Phillips screws. Unbolt them and remove the shield. Compared with the main board shield, the subboard shield has no heat dispatch piece. Disconnect the display flex and the antenna flex from the subboard. Remove antenna flex. The subboard contains Pepsi charging port, microphone, and a 3.5 mm audio jack. The last step. Take out the small parts from frame with tweezers. Loudspeaker lays on the bottom of frame. The flat vibrator was stuck near the main board. And the ear speaker lays on the top of frame. With a comparison picture with comb, we can know their size. Battery was glued with the frame, so we won't take it off this time. The battery capacity reached 5000 mAh and made by BYD in China. Alright, so the teardown was completed. 
and let's assemble everything back to the phone. Samsung Galaxy A12 has a fashion design. The craftsmanship also matches its price. As an entry-level Samsung smartphone, Galaxy A12 equipped a middle-class display. Also, big capacity battery provides outstanding using endurance. Photograph performance isn't as strong as other high-class model, but still can satisfy users' basic photo demands. SOC adopts a Helio P35 CPU. Performance is weak according to benchmark scoring. Generally speaking, Galaxy A12 is a good choice based on both phone performance and price. Thanks for watching, guys, and welcome to leave your comment. If you are interested in the tools we used, please visit our website for more tool choices.